Hey, good morning YouTube. This is Ian from Big Rock Adventure and today we're going to do another travel trailer video. So what I'm going to talk about today is the six reasons why my wife and I decided to purchase our Lance Travel Trailer. So there are six reasons why my wife and I really decided that the Lance Travel Trailer was the right one for us, keeping in mind that we had an R-Pod in the past. Okay, so my number one reason is build quality. So the overall build quality of a Lance Travel Trailer is a cut above all the normal trailers out there. So whether you're looking at a Forest River or Keystone or any of the other uh, big, big manufacturers out there, Lance takes it to another level with the quality. And of course that's reflected in the higher price, but what you're getting is a much higher quality trailer. So I'm gonna show you around the trailer a little bit and, t and show you some of the things that that um, are higher quality about it, some of the construction details, some of the, some of the um, smaller things that you might not notice from just looking at it. So we'll start here at the front, right? And when you put your, when you feel the quality and the weight of the materials used to build the trailer or how the, how the joints are put together um, or the quality of this front piece or even looking at something like the tri-propane, um, looking at the frameless windows and how they seal, um, the quality of the paint and the decals, uh, they don't peel off. Um, the, you know, just the overall solidity of it is extremely good compared to most trailers. Here's another example of the build quality. Look at how sturdy this ladder is. I mean, this thing has no movement in it at all. I can climb up and down this thing. It's extremely sturdy, high quality. They didn't cheap out on that. Um, even the way the taillights are built here, these are really strong, nice LED taillights. Um, perfect gaps here. The fasteners are really high quality. There's no exposed sealant or caulking. Um, really great job. I'm looking again at the back. You can pound on pound on this and it doesn't deflect. It's really thick, strong material. A lot of the reasons that the Lance is a higher quality construction are in how the trailer is actually made in the factory. So if you go to Lance's website, they show you things like how they use aluminum structure, how they use CNC machining to machine the parts and put them together almost in a robotic fashion instead of just slapping these together by hand. Um, you can see this throughout the entire trailer, um, but I encourage you to go to Lance's website to look at some of the videos and look at some of the infographics they have about how these things are actually made. It's, it's quite a bit different from the standard trailer and that's part of the, the extra price that you're paying for. Continuing on my theme of quality and build quality, look how sturdy this table is. It doesn't move. It doesn't come out. It's a really good quality material. Look at the construction of the material. This, this trailer has a couple years of use on it. Look at the uh, how the material here, this vinyl material on the dinette is holding up. The padding is super strong. It doesn't wear out and get flat spots or soft spots. Um, you can clean it really easily. Uh, look at the design of the blinds. The blinds uh, don't break and they work extremely well. Um, they don't come off the track. They don't, they don't um, flap around. The quality of the wood, the solid, the solid wood construction here. Um, how these cabinets are. Look at how tight these joints are and how well everything is machined, how everything fits together. The hinges that they use are super strong. They don't come loose during towing. Um, they hold things securely. Um, there's no cheap screws. Everything, the latches, the, the lights. Um, look at the, again, the solid wood cabinet doors. I mean, this, this thing is built to stand the test of time. Okay, the second reason why we really chose to go with the Lance in the size class, now keep in mind this is a 20 foot long trailer or a 16 or 17 foot box. There's not many 17 foot box trailers that have a dual axle. The reason that we wanted a dual axle is actually a number of really good reasons. Um, probably the chief of which is simply towing stability. So if you've towed with a single axle trailer versus a dual axle trailer, you'll notice a huge difference in the stability of the trailer behind you. A single axle trailer has one pivot point on the axle and it likes to sway a lot, even with this, even with the sway control hitch. But with the dual axle, you get a really nice straight towing experience and I would never ever go back to a single axle travel trailer again like the R-Pod. One of the other good things about a dual axle is that it makes backing up easier. So the trailer doesn't jackknife as quickly as with a single axle. Single axle is more unpredictable to reverse. A dual axle tracks a little bit smoother and slower and is easier to reverse in a parking spot. It's something I immediately noticed when we got the Lance trailer versus the R-Pod that we had before. Um, the third reason that I like dual axle is because if you have a blowout, you still have one tire on the ground on each side. So if this tire fails, you've still got a tire on the ground here. If you have a single axle trailer and you lose your left tire to a blowout, um, you could have a bad accident. So that's something to keep in mind. 
Okay, the third reason why we really chose to go with the Lance, and this is not totally unique to the Lance, but there's not too many trailers or RVs that have it. And this is the Four Seasons Certification. So you can see the sticker here, it says Four Seasons Certified All Weather Recreation. Um, this is an option package on the Lances, but I think most of them have it. Uh, what you really get with a Four Seasons package is you get really good insulation, you get um, insulated and uh, enclosed um, water storage tanks in the bottom. Uh, they also have heat ducted to the storage tanks and what that means is that your uh, water tanks whether it's your fresh water or your gray or black water are not going to freeze up and cause cracking and cause um, blowout of your plumbing when the temperature drops below freezing the four season package is something that we utilized on our first trip out to uh, Lake Powell and the Grand Canyon in the middle of winter in a cold winter storm where we were camping in temperatures below 20 degrees uh, Besides the fact that the trailers were insulated, the furnace works great, um, having those heated and enclosed storage tanks and the plumbing and everything being prepared for those cold temperatures is a really wonderful peace of mind. We didn't have to worry about things freezing up. Um, you still had water in the morning or in the middle of the night uh, and you didn't have to worry about plumbing blowouts. So um, for us, the four season is important because we want to be able to camp at all, <coughs> excuse me, at all times of the year. Okay, so the fourth big reason we chose the Lance is the storage. So the storage for such a small trailer is really incredible on this. It probably has four or five times more storage inside and outside than our Arpon did. And they did a really good job packaging this together. So I'm going to start here with this front storage bin. Okay, so not only is this a large pass-through storage, but the, the thing I love about Lance is this pull-out tray. Because if, you've, if you have a travel trailer or an RV and you've got stuff crammed, way down inside there and of course it always slides to the other end that you can't get to or in the middle you don't have to have that problem with the lens you simply pull the tray out and you can get to all your stuff even if it's back in here really good design and this thing rolls really smoothly and it has a it has a latch when you're traveling uh, to put down here so it doesn't move around um, and of course not only is the storage really ample but I love the slam latches like that you don't have to fiddle with those little twist things So continuing with the storage, so this is the storage, uh, it's a big storage door and this is under the bed. So the bed lifts up on those on those uh, gas hinges you can see there to get to this from inside the trailer, but you can also access it from outside the trailer here. So in this storage, it's huge. I can fit um, outdoor mats, I can fit a, a number of different camping chairs, I can fit camping stoves, cooking supplies, a table is under there, um, all sorts of things like that. Um, and it's really great big pass-through storage, almost like you get on a fifth wheel. I mean, it's not as big as a fifth wheel, but for a, for a 20 foot trailer, um, tongue to bumper, that's pretty impressive. Now let's look at this storage here. This storage is under the dinette and you access it from the outside. I've got, I've got hoses, I've got my solar panels, I've got my, um, uh, some of my plumbing stuff. I've got fire starting kit and I've only got it about a third full to carry all that stuff. So that's really great. Okay, the inside storage. You've got the storage here under this net, these huge trays. We keep all our clothes. There's one on each side. These, again, good quality, and they have these locks to secure them so that when you're moving, they don't slide out. Um, the storage here, this is the storage I just showed you on the outside, but you can access it here uh, from in the trailer. You just the, the bed is on hinges, and you can pull this up. You've got storage up here. A uh, ton of storage up here above the bed. This actually folds down to become like a, a child bed up here and it includes a mattress for that. So that's why they say that the 1685 actually sleeps five people, although we probably would never sleep someone up here. We could sleep our um, really young daughter up here, but probably she'll just sleep on the dinette. So more storage up here. Storage above the kitchen sink, three compartments here, dishes, towels, um, different, different, uh, all the stuff you need for cooking. Um, great cabinets here under the sink. And then moving here, you've got an actual full um, height closet, which we use for dirty clothes, shoes, water, boots, um, all sorts of things. We have our broom here. And then you've got, um, this is the water heater down here, but then you've got two pull-out drawers and another big closet here with a closet rod hanger. But we put these interior sort of organizer pockets as well. So again, the storage on the Lance is really, really impressive. They, they, they keep this, they build this in mind with you taking long extended trips and actually living in the trailer for extended periods of time, not just taking weekend trips. Okay, the fifth thing that we love about the Lance trailer and the fifth reason that we really decided to buy it is the size of the slide out. So they call it a super slide. It slides out like something like uh, two and a half or three feet. I'm gonna show you now um, what that actually means. So here's the slide out. You can see how wide this walkway is. Um, this is about uh, four, four and a half feet wide here in the hallway. Now I'm going to put the slide in and show you the difference. So here we go. Let's put this slide in.
The slide is so big that it takes a while to take it in or out. Okay, now you can see with the slide in how dramatically different this is. You still have a walkway. You can still open your fridge and freezer part way. Um, sorry, you can still open your fridge and freezer part way here, uh, which is great at a quick rest stop. But you can see how much the interior opened up with that slide. So again, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it out uh, and show you guys the difference here. Look how much that interior opens up. You can see how much that interior opens up now. It makes it really spacious for such a small trailer. And the dinette is really large and uh, very usable for a family. Okay, so I think the sixth and final reason why we chose the Lance is that it has really good resale value. So why is resale value important? I mean, if you're planning to keep the trailer kind of forever till it falls apart, then I guess you maybe don't care about resale value. But what if your family situation changes? What if you, and you need to get a bigger trailer? What if your financial situation changes and you need to sell it? Um, what if you decided that you don't have time to go RVing anymore? There's a number of things that could cause you to get rid of your trailer, either trade it in or sell it. And if you have a higher resale value, you're not losing as much money. So if you think of your cost of ownership, it's not just what you paid for the trailer. That's not true. The cost of ownership is the depreciation, the maintenance, the things like that. So the less depreciation you have or the higher resale value you have, the less it's actually costing you to own this trailer. So if we decide to get a bigger trailer in a few years, this thing is still worth a lot of money, which is a big difference from buying one of the cheaper brands that might lose 50% or more of its value in a couple years. The Lance doesn't do that because of its perceived quality and reliability and its reputation that it has. So resale value is a big deal and uh, it matters. And it's one of the other reasons that we decided to go for it. Even though it's kind of a big investment, you get that money back later so I hope that makes some sense so I hope this video was useful for you guys out there if you're considering um, the major investment that buying a Lance trailer is um, watch my other video my honest owner review of the Lance for some other details and comparisons to the other models ours is the 1685 and in retrospect I really would have preferred to get the uh, 1985 or the 1995 to get the walk around from bed but other than that I love this trailer we've had uh, we've spent a um, couple of months in this trailer over the time we've owned it. We've loved every day in it. Uh, it's added priceless memories to our family. Uh, we just had our first child uh, last week, and so we're hoping to have many, many years in the future of great camping experiences with our child, going to national parks and state parks and traveling around uh, all the western United States. Um, uh, hopefully we can hopefully we can do a lot of that. Um, this is a great addition to our family. It's a great addition to our life um, It's worth every penny for us because we love the camping and the RV lifestyle We love traveling with the trailer because you have your home with you You have your food you have your bathroom and we love camping with it and we get to see amazing places um, Whether it's worth the investment for you is something you're gonna have to decide But you know when I look at all the stickers of all the places We've already been able to go just in the past I guess year and a half I'm so happy that we have this trailer you can do this kind of traveling of course with any brand trailer but for us um, and some of the reasons I've highlighted here and in my other Lance video, there's just reasons that put the Lance above other trailers for us. And there's other high-end options you can look at. There's, you know, uh, Airstream, there's Oliver, I guess there's some other ones out there. And those are great too. Those are awesome trailers. Um, Airstream doesn't have a, a slide out and that was a deal breaker for us. So we went with the Lance. We're really happy. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for all of you out there. Um, happy camping and we'll see you next time.